Hey, everybody, Ann here. I'm up bright and early. In fact, I've been up all night. I am finally having my coffee, though. Uh, last night was a rough night. Um, I'm going to try and get this uploaded today if I can, so that it won't be two nights after I haven't uploaded a video in a few days. But uh, we had some terrible storms come through, and I've been through some pretty bad storms, but last night it was absolutely terrifying. I wanted to call my mommy. <laughs> it was like 1.40 when I woke up, and then the wind came and the rain, and it was mostly just the wind. Um, I haven't even gotten outside and looked around to see what kind of <laughs> dramas caused to the chicken yards, hopefully nothing. But there were multiple tornadoes that touched down all over the place. I don't know if they actually touched down right near me, but it sounded it sounded what I imagine a tornado sounds like. It was just really loud. It was pitch dark. You couldn't see anything. So, I mean, there were no lights except for the periodic flashes of lightning. Um, but it was a sound that I've never heard before. Um, and it was, I, I remember when I was camping out in my van on a lake a couple years ago, when I was van lifing, um, there was a really bad storm that came by, and I did hear a sound. It was pretty scary, but it was nothing like this. It was terrifying, so I don't even know exactly where all the tornadoes touched down. I, I'm pretty sure there were multiple, but it was one of the scariest nights of my life last night. I was, I actually started crying because I, I got the puppies up in the bed with me, and I got Papa, you know, he was right by me, and we're all just kind of sitting there holding on to each other. Because if there would have been a tornado that had touched down here, this tiny house would have been gone. So, um, I was counting my blessings last night, that's for sure. But we made it through okay, and I'm going to go look around here in a little bit after I have my coffee. The chickens, I haven't even let the chickens out. It's like 7 a.m., and the chickens are still in their coops. They're, they'll be okay. They'll be all right for a little bit longer. All right, I got to get some coffee in me. Before I get going, though, I just wanted to share the Christmas presents that Miss Donna B sent me. She made this hanging Christmas tree herself. It is absolutely gorgeous. She sent me fairy lights to light it up. And look at that. It's all decorated. I wonder, did you string those beads yourself, Donna? It is just so pretty. I don't think I could ever make anything like that. I just absolutely love it, and it looks great on that wall. And she sent me a card with a couple gift certificates in it so I can get some nummies. She sent me the little, um, there's a little snowman and a little snow globe type thing, and those peppermint candies. Oh, I love those. I love to make peppermint chocolate uh, coffee with it. Yeah, that's uh, still kind of a mess up there. But I strung some of the lights up there. And this is what it looks like kind of in the dark. It's hard to see because I'm trying to shine a light on it and at the same time show that it's lit up. But it is just... Oh, parents want to know how I did during the weather. I'll need to text them back. But it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Donna, thank you so very much. I love it. Yeah, that came down. Nothing big. I can fix it. Came down over here too. Ugh, everything is just such a mess. But nothing else. Everything else looks okay. Yeah, the tarps over here are all down. And looks like we got some tree limbs down on top of this. That's okay. That can all be fixed. Just small limbs have been coming down. Whew. Good. Not a big deal. I'm actually surprised with the way that it sounded last night. I felt for sure we were goners. But, nope, we are not. Everything is just fine. Oh, see these glasses? <laughs> Look at my hair. These are different glasses. Well, I'm going to show you what happened to my other glasses here in a little bit. Papa, that boy, he was just my rock. He was solid as a rock. He just came right by my side last night because he knew I was scared. And just sat right by me. Wouldn't leave me. He's a good boy. Check this out. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff come down over here. Luckily, none by the tiny house. Nope. Ooh, pretty, pretty trees. This is a big one. Look at that. Look at the colors of those things. Oh, those are pretty. Yeah, that's kind of a big one, so that'll be cut up and used as firewood. Yep, that is my tree guy. Whoa, you see that there? That's a big tree. Oh my gosh. 
Um, I think that's on my neighbor's property, but I'm going to go have a look. Whew. I hear an emergency crew out somewhere. Loudspeaker. It's over there. I don't know what's going on. But look at this. Whoa. Look at it. Where did it come from? This is a huge tree. Look at this. Look at it. I'm going to get to cut that up. Oh my gosh. It just crashed and burned. Where did it come from? This is a big tree. Look at all the mushrooms on them. Unfortunately, they're, they're not of the edible variety. Big tree. Where did this come from? Oh my gosh. That's it right there. That's the tree. It was dead anyhow, but yep, it just came off. So, hopefully my neighbors will let me cut this wood up. Um, it's wet, but it's not totally dry. I don't know what these things are, but they, they're kind of cool. Look at that. Lots of wood. See another tree down right up ahead. Yep, another tree is down. A big one. A nice big one. Half on my property. I don't know. This might all be my property. I don't think they'll mind if I take it. I'm going to certainly ask them. But this one snapped off, I think, from that middle part right there. Maybe. I'm not sure. Another big part of the tree right here. That is going to be some good wood for me to cut up. Wow. Yeah, it could be from either one of these. See? They, they both have their tops missing off of them. Whoop. There's another one. Hey, I recognize that tree. Remember that tree? That's the one I cut off of this stump, and it was leaning up that way. <laughs> well, it has come down this way, so now I'm going to be able to cut this up pretty easily myself. I'm walking down to the end of my drive to dump out all the water from my wagon because I keep it there for deliveries. Um, Oh, and I did want to tell you too, Miss Donna, she made me the most tasty biscotti cookies, and I've had a bunch of them, so uh, when I go back inside, I'm going to make me some special Christmas coffee, and how I make it is I get two of those little peppermint thingies, and I crush them up, put them in the bottom, two scoops of uh, non-fat dry powdered milk, um, half a scoop and a scoop is like a tablespoon, basically, of cocoa. And um, I don't need to add any sugar because uh, of the peppermint candies. Mix it all up. Oh, it is just so good. And so that's what I'm going to have, biscotti and Christmas coffee for breakfast. So that's pretty wonderful. And she sent me some new socks and um, some check snacks. So, yeah, Merry Christmas to me. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, more stuff is down here. More stuff for me to cut up. Right on. Let's see how this wagon looks. I'll just dump this out. Oh, because all of my water things are full, I don't need to add this to it. Plenty of water last night. The water catchment system held up, so that's a bonus. Whoops. Chickens are already out free ranging. That's my last year's little uh, Christmas tree. But, you know, it could have been a lot worse here, to tell you the truth, you guys. Um, ooh, look at this pretty piece of bark. Oh, I think I can do something with this. Yeah, I'm going to go around and collect pretty bark today. For now, I'm just going to put it off to the side somewhere. Somewhere where I'll remember, and hopefully the chickens won't scratch through it. Maybe I can make some art pieces with this. Isn't that gorgeous? But when I think about other people... In Tennessee and in Kentucky. Kentucky, I guess, got hit really, really bad last night with it. A Nur couple nursing homes, um, the Amazon building, well, in Illinois, Illinois too, uh, basically got blown apart. So that is just, uh, I'm lucky. You know, I'm lucky that I, all that I received from this is a little bit of extra work fixing up the chicken yard tarps and, um, but aside from that, I've been blessed with downed wood all over the place. A lot of people have lost their homes. Um, they've lost their vehicles. They've lost their lives. 
So I want you all to just please extend prayer to them. Hold them up and lift them up in prayer that they can get through this because uh, I haven't even seen all the reports yet. All I know is that there were 30 tornadoes that had touched down as a result of this storm in multiple different states and people weren't as lucky as me. Um, I don't even know if the electricity is on here. Um, it was. I think it went out last night because I couldn't see Mr. Lucas, um, you know, lights on. So, I don't know. All I know is I got a lot of work ahead of me, but um, it's going to be good work. It's going to be good work getting all, this all cleaned up. I got to go inside and get some coffee, but um, I did want to tell you about an executive decision that I made. Um, and... I'm sure many of you saw it coming. The two puppies in the tiny house, well, it's not the size or space. It is their activity, their energy. Two of them plus, plus Papa is just too much. Um, I've been tri They've been tripping me, and I've been falling, and I've been suffering some issues with joint pain. And uh, so... That's been really frustrating for me. I've been very cranky over it. Um, and I think that, well, I already know. I've already asked my neighbors where I got the puppy from if they would be able to, you know, help me find another home. And they said, sure. Um, they're going to come pick him up today and keep him until he can be rehomed to another home. Um, I chose Sonny just because, you know, Junior was my first choice. Um, and he's just, he's a bigger dog, and I like the bigger dogs. Sonny's a little bit smaller. He's got a beautiful disposition. Um, but it's just too much for me. It is just too much. Um, I've been using some choice words that the Heavenly Father would be, well, he already knows. I mean, he's watching me, right? <laughs> he, uh, he's not very happy with. Um, so, Sonny is going back. Um, the good thing is, is he's had... Two sets of shots. He's been wormed twice, so he's a healthy puppy. Um, he's adorable as heck, but I had to make this difficult decision because I just, I, I, I just couldn't do it with with the three. So, to all you people saying, "Oh, I told you so. I told you so." Well, yeah, you're right. I thought I could do it, but um, no, I can't. <laughs> So, uh, I've been jabbering long enough, and I'm, I'm going to try and just get this all together real quick. And uh, I got some more things coming up, so that's pretty awesome. Anyway, and I'll show you what happened to my glasses in the next video. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.